Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, RetroPie 4.3 was released and I wanna show you how to update from an existing build. Now, it's always best to back your SD card up. I've made a video on that. I'll leave a link in the description. If you update and something goes wrong, don't blame me. I told you to back it up. There are tons of improvements, lots of updates with RetroPie 4.3. There is a change log over on the RetroPie forum. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for you. This is really easy to do. You can also flash a fresh version of RetroPie 4.3. It is available for download over on the RetroPie website. All the links are in the description. Let's go ahead and get started. Super easy to do, but make sure you back your system up just in case. You have to be connected online for this to work. I'm plugged in with ethernet, but you can also use Wi-Fi. We're gonna to go to the RetroPie menu. From here, we're gonna scroll down to RetroPie Setup. Enter this menu. Scroll to Update RetroPie Setup Script. Choose this option here. Make sure your cursor is on OK. Yes. This is gonna fetch the latest RetroPie Setup Script. Press OK. OK. After you've updated the RetroPie setup script, we need to update RetroPie itself. So we're gonna do a basic install. This could take a little while depending on the version you're on. So just sit back and relax, let it finish up. Click on basic install, yes, and let it do its thing. We are now finished updating to RetroPie 4.3. Let's go ahead and perform a reboot. Yes. You are now updated to RetroPie 4.3. Like I said, there are tons of changes and added features within RetroPie 4.3. Change log is listed down below. I recommend reading through it. There's way too much to go over in this video, but I wanna go over a few of the notable changes in RetroPie 4.3. We have collection support now. Favorites, all recently played and custom collections. Press start on your controller. We have a game collection setting. You can go right in here. Custom game collections, create new custom collection from theme, create new custom collection. I'm gonna show you how to add a game to your favorites list. This is one of my favorite features. I'll go to Super Nintendo. And I love Alien 3. I'm gonna press Y on my controller. Added Alien 3 to my favorites. I'll add a few more here. I'm just randomly doing this. And if you wanna unadd them, we can go back to that same game that we have in our favorites menu, and we can remove it by pressing Y again. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Back up, back up. Press start on my controller. Game collection settings. Choose favorites. Back, and we'll back up again. Now we have a favorites collection, and those three games that I added are right here. You can also add recently played, so we'll press start, game collections, and we'll turn on all games and last played. Go back, back, it'll take a little while to initiate. Last played, favorites, all games. Really cool feature built into RetroPie 4.3. There's a lot of new stuff in here, so go ahead and read through the change log. There's a lot of cores that have been updated, lots of features that have been fixed, and just stability in general has been greatly increased. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. Links are in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Like always, thanks for watching.